And Nigeria's food inflation touched its 15-year high in April of 2021, with cereal and bread being two of the key drivers cited by the statistics office. By May 2022, the inflation rate stood at 16.82%. And so in that light, a tour was made to local bread popularly known as agege bread and a cuisine bread, the likes of sugar bread, sardine bread and coconut bread, amongst others, bakeries, to sort for answers on the current economic effect on bread production. Our correspondent, Omolara Adebaye, has the report. Flour and sugar account for roughly four-fifths of the input in bread production. But that policy of limiting access to foreign currency, turning importers to the black market, and Nigeria's taxation is putting an enormous squeeze on the prices of bread, which soared by over one-third in a year to March. While a good number of bakeries are facing failure to thrive, Mrs. Awoyomi, the managing director of a cuisine bakery, has been able to develop a recipe that enables her to make bread from as much as 40% OFSP puree, combined with 60% wheat flour in order, while still being able to maintain the quality despite the hike in production costs. The first one is the increase in cost of raw, raw materials like flour, sugar, is the main uh, materials. Then other materials, inputs, they are so high and it's really affecting us. We also have challenges of the, the exchange rates. Also, it's affecting the business. The only thing we need, if government can give us light, is to reduce all this. We make sure we maintain our quality. We make sure we don't compromise. I reduce drastically. That's why I said all this has affected the profit margins. So it has reduced. Before, if it is 20%, it should be 10 now. Where mostly where government needs to call me is the importation of the wheat. Mm. We don't see how the kind of wheat in Nigeria that we can use for flour. Mm. So wheat is coming from Russia, yeah. so we need to make sure that the tariff on needs needs to be reduced. While speaking with a local bread factory representative, he explained the disadvantaged effect the current economic impact have had, particularly on manpower. And I did okay. Well, before so I'll tell you again, yeah, like a uh, uh, well, ten thousand is. Where you work is 10,000 a year before. Now, before you see 2,000 now, is now the store. Like before, it's like 7,000, 8,000 a day. One now, if it's like 2,000 naira, that's why. It was a sausage. Bread, semolina, pasta, and other wheat flour based products are staples in Nigeria, and demand for the product has continued to increase. Omolara Adebayo. Reporting for Ibrand TV News.